Annette, Constantin, Lana, Robert and Susanna are preparing to go on patrol. They come from Germany, Hungary, Romania and the United Kingdom and work for the EU monitoring mission in Georgia. EUMM was deployed in the immediate aftermath of the August 2008 war. Over 200 civilian monitors were sent by EU member states to monitor the observance of the EU-mediated six-point agreement which ended the conflict. At the time, the quick deployment of the mission allowed to assist the return of several tens of thousands of people to their homes. EUMM's priorities are to ensure that there is no return to hostilities and to facilitate the resumption of a safe and normal life for the local communities living in the conflict areas. The mission also aims to build confidence and trust between the conflict parties and to accurately inform EU policymakers. The monitors arrive at a Georgian police checkpoint in the vicinity of the administrative boundary line. They ask the Georgian police officers who were manning the checkpoint on that day how they would assess the security situation. Ever since our deployment, we were patrolling day and night in the areas adjacent to administrative boundary lines to South Ossetia and Abkhazia. Our efforts were primarily directed to observing and monitoring the security and humanitarian situation on the ground. Based on our daily observations, we are providing EU policymakers with accurate and impartial reports about the situation on the ground. I just saw these couple of dots on the street to the other side of the fence. Where does that go to? Out of the city, we are heading to Kromos. It's been valid. It's been valid. It's been valid. It's been valid. Okay. It's been valid. 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 It's been installation of physical and other obstacles on local communities, freedom of movement and livelihood. We also report about the people's difficulties to access agricultural land, social services, schools or religious sites. A very important part of UMM's mission is to understand the impact of borderization on local communities. Um, and I'm standing here um, next to an irrigation ditch uh, where the water is flowing across and is divided by a fence. Um, this irrigation water is very important for farmers who um, rely on agriculture for their um, livelihoods. Um, but borderization impacts on many fronts for communities. Um, for school children regarding access to education, um, there are many instances where children need to cross um, to schools. People who have had land for generations, um, uh, very often borderization means that uh, fences are actually put across the middle of people's field, um, in some cases after the crops have been sown, so they no longer be able to go there at harvest time to actually harvest, uh, harvest those crops. One of the mission's key tools to prevent tensions and respond to incidents along the administrative boundary lines is the Incident Prevention and Response Mechanism, IPRM. The mechanism aims to facilitate the exchange of information between conflict parties. It consists of regular meetings and a hotline that can be activated around the clock. Over the years, the IPRM has been a very useful tool to help solve problems at the local level. It has, for instance, prompted the release of detainees and facilitated the safety of agricultural work in the vicinity of the administrative boundary lines with Abkhazia and South Ossetia. Whenever an incident or other security-related uh, issue occurs, we facilitate the exchange of information between the parties in order to help clarify the situation. It's an effective and uh, fast uh, means of communication. We have a hotline, a direct uh, telephone line, which can be activated by any conflict party 24-7. There is a general consensus that UMM has considerably contributed to the stabilization of the situation in the area since 2008. Through our presence and our confidence-building activities, we have played and continue to play a crucial role in reducing and preventing tensions on the ground. 
on a larger scale of things, our monitoring and reporting activities are essential in helping the EU decision makers to shape their policies on Georgia and the wider region. A more stable neighborhood means more safety and more security for the European Union as a whole.